those are real heroes. There's yeah. a lot of parents that say they're going to take you away. All I have that a lot. And they think the costs are bad. When you have a child and, and, and the other kids, you know, third and fourth grade, and they're telling my kids because they know that's the cop's child, and, uh, and, and they're talking bad about cops, and you're like, what kind of parent do you have? You know, I know. I, it makes you wonder. Have we rested you before? <laughs>
you get to that age and you just know everything. Uh -huh. And I, I actually flew to Philadelphia to meet somebody that I had been chatting with online for three years and we were friends. And by myself, never met him before, kind of didn't know what he looked like, could have been like some kind of trafficking thing. He wasn't, and he was graduating college and he was nice and everything, but it could have been that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you know, that it's not just when they're little, it's when they're older too, and teaching them like you can't trust everybody. You just can't. So I saw um, about these devices that they have now to track where your child is. I saw those, yeah. They have different, they have a GPS backpack, a GPS ankle bracelet, the GPS put in the child's shoes they do. or <laughs> what are they having a little <laughs> clip also for your pants yeah. or wherever you want to clip it or a, yeah. a little watch that was just like a, one of those plastic watches for mm -hmm. kids how do you feel about those i would totally use it and i until we were doing the research for this i didn't know that they existed but i really i was like it's 30 dollars for the clip on one and you have it the other part on the keychain and if they get more than 150 feet from you it starts beeping so i'm like that's not a bad thing to have now for a little toddler, 150 feet away might be a little too far <laughs> because they, at that point it's like they're easily hideable. Oh, yeah. but that would be really neat to put on a keychain. Yeah, it is a keychain. No, I mean it's often as you lose your keys. Yeah. Or the remote control. <laughs> <laughs> they have tape into her remote. When it's 150 feet keys. away. Yeah, that probably would. But if it GPS. <laughs> we, we just say we're counting. I do that all the time. You do one, two. Yeah. Okay, how many do I have? Two. Yeah. Okay, one, two. Yeah. You'd be surprised. You know, yeah, well, you're counting. They both take off different directions. I'm like, yeah, you're counting. Do I have them all? You know, count them out. Count them yeah. out. And how many times do you count? Your and that small play area, and then it's wide open. They don't have a gate there because they're like, well, we don't want to do that. But then the door to the exit to the parking lot is right there. And mine know how to press but your button. sitting there still. Well, you are, but like it's, I mean, the stuff is higher and, you know, it's easy to miss one when you're looking at one the other one. I mean, there's, it's just so fast. Yeah, you have one and mine knows how to press the emergency door exit so she can open the door. So I'm like, oh man. So I'm like basically standing at the front. Well, I don't really go anymore because of that. It's open. But I, I would stand there and I'm like, and y'all would have a play date with the little ones that aren't even crawling yet back there talking all comfortably. And I'm like, one of the, someone's gonna I think speak one of, up. One of the first few play dates that I joined you guys yeah. over there at the mall, and when my daughter started walking and at the, right at the beginning, and she would take off, yeah. I think I remember you saying, oh, well, I think that's your daughter taking yeah. off, so I just run so fast. And yeah. now she <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but another thing is explaining the rules to the kids yeah. because let them know, okay, this is our area, you're staying here. If you leave this area, next time we don't get to come back. Yeah, I'm telling you. And that stick now. with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I. If they miss out, they yeah. don't eat it. I'm like, we're yeah. gonna leave next time you walk out. I'm doing that with okay. food now. Yeah. Anything. I tell her, you don't need dinner now. Guess what? You don't get any dessert if, yeah. have, if we have dessert. But if you don't follow through, yeah, they're like, I do. Oh, I can do whatever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, as yeah. long as you stick to it, everything else is so much easier. Yeah, so because good. they trust. Um, they they need to trust, trust your word. Yeah. yeah. They need to know that you mean what you say, and then they're okay. Yeah, that's how my kids are. Like they trust me when I say, and you need to get. That's when they're one and two, and I, yeah. yeah, they have their fits, of course, but when I tell them something, they trust that what I'm saying, I'm not joking around, you know no. what I mean? They you get out next time, and get they ready to know your authority. Down. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm back, and we're left. Yeah. I think yeah. it's good to, like, leave responsibility to kids no matter how old they are. They, they, they can to, be Yeah, things. they can learn, mm -hmm. and they can, that's how they learn and mm -hmm. realize responsibility. But you also, care of safety. you also can't like expect for them to do exactly as you told them to because yeah. either you're going to slip up regardless someone's yeah. going to do something they're not supposed to so you, you can't like be like well they know better so i've seen some parents that they know better they're, they're not going to and they're sitting there talking and their kids running down there because they never do it and i'm like well guess what today's the day <laughs> they're down there you know it's like you, you just you have to still keep an eye on your kids oh i'm going to yeah. each person's house like yeah. I remember you came to my house not long after I moved here, and on the ottoman I have this huge round thing, and it's full of glass balls. And yeah. Stuff. Oh yeah. And and our Oakley was rather young, mm -hmm. and and I think you might have you might have come to at some point in time. You know, like I could never have those out because they would be everywhere, and your yeah. kids kept going through. They kept like fluttering. They were Yeah, and mine don't touch it. So like at my house, I'm like. 
no, I have glass out and everything, and it's no problem, you know. Yeah. And then you come over, and I'm like, oh, my house is not baby through. <laughs> They're trying to go up the stairs, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so they know each house, yeah, they know right. what they can and can't do, but then when you go to somebody else's house, they don't know. Yeah, yeah, you have to be yeah. a, a little more cautious because. Yeah, that's why a lot of um, moms stay home, because, like, it's a lot. Easier. No, yeah. you come to my house. Those yeah, but I host there. all parties. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you come to my house? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, when you're like in a crowded area, when you're toddler and they don't want to sit in the stroller anymore, mm -hmm. it's hard to hold their hands also because they mm -hmm. try to pull away. So for my daughter, I bought one of those leash. I guess they're they're good. Months People months judge you for them. And at first, I didn't want to use it because it was like I bought it because I was like, you know, maybe I'll talk myself into using it. Yeah. And at That's first true. I didn't want to use it because all the comments that I heard yeah. about that oh my god, you can put your child in a leash or that or the other that's just so inhuman or so mean. And then we went to the I think the sand fest for the first time when I used it with my daughter and it was so crowded over there, like I don't care what everyone thinks. And it was funny because there were people walking their dogs on the beach in a leash. <laughs> and they're trying to, so I was holding the leash, but yet I was. There's nothing wrong with I was just, that. I just put it on my arm and I was holding on to my daughter in case she runs away. Okay, you can't really go away, so yeah. I was trying not to pull or anything. Yeah. And then I started using like almost every time we would go, like we went to San Antonio on a trip, and yeah. I let her walk, but I put the leash on the yeah. little monkey backpack, and she knows. Okay, well you can walk if you don't put the monkey on your back. <laughs> I, I used to at one time. To the zoo alert. or anywhere. I've never used to at the I, have, I need to get one. Because I had to go alone. And so uh -huh. Kendall was in the little carrier, the arm carrier thing, and then yeah. Sterling sat in the in the cart, and then Espen and Haley had to be on the leashes because we're all, what else was I going to do? And so I had one on each arm, and it was for safety. Yeah. Yeah. I never had a fault with them, I just didn't use them. Yeah. I saw now they have this, the, um, for multiple kids, they mm -hmm. call Hold My Hand. And uh, they have either a little circle that they can hold on, or they have the one that goes to their wrist. Mine was so, like that. And then they go in a line. Yeah. The ones that they go in, in the wrist, they have to struggle to get their yeah. hand out. But if it doesn't so, work for you, it could work for somebody yeah. else, and maybe so the, the leashes work for you. You can find them online, too. Mm -hmm. and so, and then the, the, um, another thing I want to say was don't leave your kids alone in the bathtub. <laughs> That's so scary. Yeah, they could drown like in an instant. And even if they're older, I mean, if they happen to oh, so look at them and stand up and play and fall and hit their head, and I mean, if we fill the tub with water, they can drown. You just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you just you don't leave them alone. Don't leave them alone. I think it's good to be like not overprotected, obviously, but like to be safe be around them. them. Yeah. Because they grew up knowing, like, hey, they need to use safety. Mm -hmm. You know, so not only are you showing them safety, but you're teaching them how good it is to be safe. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when, you know, as they grow older, it's like still embedded in their head, like, I need to choose safety first yeah. before not. And, like, that's, it's, that's why it's so important. That's, that's a good point I mean? because, like, my mom was very, very, like, she always, I mean, I, she never admitted it, but I always I could tell. She always would see a situation and she'd always think, what could happen and how can I help avoid it or whatever. She wasn't overprotective, but she was very protective and she, you know, I, I'm grateful for how she raised me and everything. And now I see a lot of her and me with my girls and I, I don't regret being the way I am. No. How do you how do you protect yourself? I had an incident that happened to me. Somebody approached me while I was with my daughter, mm -hmm. and that was the first time that, that, yeah. that happened. I, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I ignored him, but mm -hmm. he came like close to my car. Like he was almost don't be afraid of being my rude car. Uh -uh. at all. Okay, so, I've so. told somebody stop. You're getting way too close to a woman with her child. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get hurt. You need to just stay away. And the guy just kind of like. 
uh, do you have a phone I can borrow whatever it is you ask me for? And I'm like, no, go away. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Don't, 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 don't be afraid. Just, if you're, even if you don't have your kids with you, don't be afraid to tell somebody to back up. Yeah. You know, I do. Before I had my daughter, I, was mm -hmm. like, I would have no problem to tell somebody to back off because I was like, okay, well. But it's so easy for someone to tell so you to back off. I had my daughter, I was so more scared. I was like, yeah. okay, my, I have my daughter over here. If I talk with him, what is the You can run and have What do I do? So I didn't know how to react. I just ignored him, and I went on my business, and I just ignored him, got in the yeah. car, locked the doors, and then called my husband and say, I need the pepper spray. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't walk around. Oakley would sit. If we're not in a small car, he would sit on this side, yeah. um, like in a van. He would sit on this side so that I could see him. Mm -hmm. And I don't put him in over here and then walk around no. time. I get in, I shut the door and lock it, then I buckle him in and then I climb back to my seat mm -hmm. because I don't want anybody to come behind me. And you never know. Steal me. <laughs> Somebody could be watching you and they could, you know, or what if they just want to steal the truck and he's already buckled in and they take off with him in it. That's uh, scary. Was yeah. it on the news? I always it's click it. The mom that Even if I'm pumping glass, like, I'm glass, gas, I click it. I'm like, I'm right there pumping gas, but if they, you know, I click yeah, alarm. I mean, I was walking her the door girl across the street or something, and somebody hijacked her car with the child in the car seat. Mm -hmm. Just a few months ago. It happens a lot, and people think and they it'll never happen off, to me. And the kids had to go walk to find. At least they dropped them off. This was yeah. a baby, so but yeah. thank God they There's they let the child go. They just put the car seat on right. the side you or take somewhere. Take the car, but buddy. I don't care. <laughs> I know. Take the car. Just don't give my kids. Kid. Yeah. yeah. There's so much, like, the human trafficking is so, like, right now, it's, it's, it's such a problem. Right. Yeah. Like, it's scary to think that, you know, <laughs> before we got that our... That here and now in this age. In Houston, actually, is a huge problem, and we're not that far from Houston. So, like, before we got our alarm system, I was always afraid somebody would sneak in. And we have three dogs, three big dogs. Somebody comes in, but, you know, I'm like, what if they oversleep? <laughs> That's my stress, just like, you know, but now we have the alarm system, so I'm like, we're three dogs. The alarm system, and we have a gun. I think we're good. 